So I don't know, you guys let me know if this just shows up when you're pregnant or if it's always there and it's just over exaggerated, I don't know. But it kills. Hey guys, welcome to my 18 week pregnancy update. I am filming on Saturday, so I actually turned 19 weeks today. This always confuses me. Um, my bestie Jessica keeps explaining it to me and I can't, for the love of God, remember. So basically, 19 weeks today, which means that 18 weeks is done and I'm starting my 20th week. I don't know. I have apps that tell me I'm 19 weeks. I have apps that tell me I'm 20 weeks. So don't even try to explain it to me because I'm lost. Okay, but I know that I just passed 18 weeks because of my videos tell me so. So there we go. In this week's video, I am going to be talking about some baby buys, maternity buys, um, diapers, that sort of thing, and get your advice on that. So this week, baby is the size of a sweet potato or a grapefruit which is very, very cute and very big. Oh my goodness. Um, baby is now five and a half inches long or 15.3 centimeters and 240 grams or seven ounces. So baby is getting pretty big, We're almost at the halfway mark. Baby is now covered in vernix, which is like a white protective coating and it's really thick right now and as the weeks go on closer to delivery date, it gets less and less. Some babies have little to none when they're born. Some will have a little bit more. All depends on your baby. Um, baby now has clearly defined facial, facial features, which is really cute. Um, if baby is a girl, um, half of her eggs are already developed, which is awesome, because that's like millions of eggs, which is pretty cool. Um, baby can now hiccup, yawn, and swallow. Um, and baby's the wait, awake for only six hours a day. I say only because I thought it was a lot longer than that. <laughs> but baby's only awake for six hours. Um, nervous system is becoming more development, sorry, more developed. So there's movement, kicking, rolling, all of that. And I will be talking about what I've been feeling coming up. Um, in terms of the bump, I have gained 0.5 kilos, which is about a pound, which is right on track. Um, let me show you guys the bump. So I'm wearing maternity um, tank top by Time Maternity, and I'm also wearing their Capri jeans. Um, I wear a medium in their jeans, um, but their shorts, I didn't fit in a medium, so I don't know what size I am, but this is a baby bump. I'm 19 weeks today and in terms of stretch marks I don't think my stretch marks have gotten any worse they've always been there um, but I'm definitely getting a lot hairier <laughs> so thanks babe I'm getting hairier um, but I'm also getting hairier eyelashes like I have a lot more eyelashes and they're a lot thicker and longer my hair is growing a lot um, I just got my hair done, which I'm going to do a separate video about my hair story completely in another video. Um, my arms are a lot hairier. I don't know. I have a lot of extra hair. Thank you. Um, so something makes me think that testosterone might be at play. Who knows? Um, emotions. So this week I am starting to panic a little because I haven't really purchased anything for baby. I have like five onesies and two pacifiers um, or passies or soothers, whatever you want to call them, and that's it. So um, I actually had a co-worker of mine, um, his sister delivered twins at 20 weeks, uh, two weeks ago or last week, and that terrified me. How about if I go into labor that early and I have nothing. So this week I'm definitely 
a little stressed out, feeling a little unprepared. Um, I know that I will be having a very large baby shower at the end of August or early September. But I keep thinking, oh my gosh, like what happens if baby comes early and I have nothing? So that's a little panicky. So I feel like I'm unprepared, I'm not ready. Um, so that's been hard to deal with. And in terms of symptoms, I wanna talk about round ligament pain. So in this picture right here, I'm gonna show you guys what the round ligament is. So I searched up pictures, diagrams, of what an unpregnant woman abdomen area looks like and the round ligament didn't show up. So I don't know, you guys let me know if this just shows up when you're pregnant or if it's always there and it's just over exaggerated, I don't know. But it kills. So walking to work in the mornings especially when I'm not warmed up and all of that, I feel like, so you know when you're running and you get like a stitch on your side, it feels like that like times two, I would say, right underneath the belly, like right here. And like you're walking and you wanna, like you feel like you wanna walk like this because <laughs> it hurts so bad. So that's what I've been dealing with this week along with being out of breath, as you can hear. Um, and heartburn. So if I lay down, um, I'd say anything lower than this, this angle right here, um, like my head being up here and my body like this, um, I'd say anything lower than that, I start feeling it if I've eaten within the last few hours or if I had anything to drink in the last few hours. So I've been using more of my pillows to kind of prop myself up on an angle like that, so I'm not feeling that. Um, I also, so when you're pregnant, your fluids in general, all your fluids increase in your body. And I have had this weird feeling, so you know when you get water in your ear? I've had this weird feeling that I have some kind of liquid fluid in my ear and I can't shake it. Like I can't. I can't do this to get rid of it, I can't sleep on here to get rid of it, nothing. So that's super, super annoying. Um, <clears throat> but it's been there, I would say for about two, three weeks. I keep forgetting to talk about it because when I sit here and I talk to you guys, I don't feel it. It's when I move my head really quickly or um, I like bend over and I get back up, that's when I really feel it. And it's it's weird. I have to talk to my midwife about that, um, who I see on the 30th, so I will definitely ask her about that. <clears throat> also, um, hemorrhoids are an issue. I know I need to eat more fiber. That's probably my issue, I know. But it's not uncommon for women in their second and third trimesters to get hemorrhoids and to get hemorrhoids after birth, so or during birth and deal with it. In postpartum so I know it's normal but it's annoying they're uncomfortable and they are not pleasant to have so that's definitely something I have struggled with um, <clears throat> so I didn't have any appointments this past week but I do want to talk about um, some baby buys maternity buys advice etc so I went to time maternity and I will do a separate video if you guys want to see all of the pieces, but um, I purchased a pair of pants from Old Navy uh, maternity. My uh, coworker actually was in an Old Navy that had a maternity section in Canada. Not all maternity, sorry, not all, not all Old Navies have a maternity section. And our oldnavy.ca website doesn't have a maternity section on it either. The American oldnavy.com does, but not the Canadian. So I've never actually seen a maternity section in an Old Navy, but she was at one that did have it. So um, she picked me up a pair of pants, which are in the wash right now. So if you guys want to see a separate video of all the pieces, I will definitely showcase that for you. Um, they were $11 on clearance. Score, skinny jeans jegging type dark dark jeans and I'm in love with them and 
they were $11. So that's awesome. They have the full panel, just like these capris that I'm wearing from Time Maternity. These were $39, so they were a little more expensive. Um, I purchased a few tank tops from Time Maternity and some sh work appropriate shirts to go with my dark jeans. Um, I still have my maxi dresses that I fit in, so I'm wearing those as well. Um, oh, and I also bought, what is it called? The May Band or the Belly? Oh shoot, what is it called? Yeah, I don't even know where it is right now, but it's like, I'm gonna do a separate video on it because it's called the May Band, I think. And it's this little fabric thing with like Velcro and it goes around your belt loops and it's supposed to extend the life of your normal jeans to be used during maternity and during your, your months. So I will do a separate video on that with the time maternity haul kind of thing if you guys wanna see it um, and review and give you my thoughts on that particular product. It was purchased on Etsy um, by my uh, coworker who's pregnant and uh, she really, really, really liked it. I did not, it might be still too early for me to use it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, now I'm rambling and you guys are probably really bored. So uh, let me get into the diaper talk. So originally I wanted to cloth diaper. I was dead set on cloth diapering. My fiance, however, has experienced cloth diapering when his sisters um, were in diapers. Now his youngest sister is still in diapers. Yeah, cause she's two and a half and they're just potty training her now. But um, so he's seen it, he's seen the work that goes through it and he's like, you are not gonna wanna do that. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. And he says, well, I'm not supporting it because I know how much work it is, how gross it is, how smelly it is. So yeah, um, so there goes that idea. So I said, okay, fine. If we're not cloth diapering, then I definitely want to get eco-friendly diapers. So I've been looking at a few brands and I want to know what your favorite brands are, which brands that you like that are eco-friendly and you know don't have all the chemicals and stuff and they're not as bad. Biodegradable, love the idea of biodegradable. Um, so I was looking at the Honest Company diapers and I know there are mixed reviews out there about them being pricey and they're not being as good as other brands. So if you guys have opinions about Honest Diapers, please put them down below. I'm thinking of purchasing gift cards for the Honest Company um, every month then that I'm working up until birth um, so that I have money set aside for the Honest Company monthly shipments because in Canada I think it's like $90 when all is said and done with taxes the international surcharge all that stuff it's like 90 to $100 so let me know if you guys are Canadian and have used Honest Diapers how much it ends up being but um, so that's what I'm thinking I don't know though because I was thinking of starting this uh, subscription now and then just having like a stockpile of diapers but you choose like seasonal designs and baby's not coming till November and I didn't want to have to store all these diapers because I live in a tiny place so I think the gift cards is a good way to go um, or purchasing a gift subscription and then postponing it because when you buy like six or 12 months, you get a discount as well. So let me know if you guys um, like those diapers and if I should go that route. Um, oh yeah, I've gotten definitely, definitely pregnancy brain, like no tomorrow. I'll be talking about something and then I'll lose my train of thought or I'll do something and I meant to do something else um, or I'll leave the house without something very important. Like it's just, oh. Oh lordy, the brain, it just doesn't want to work when you're pregnant. I don't know why. And I'm scared because I still have half way to go. Ugh, okay. Anywho, that's my ramble for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't entered my, subs my subscriber giveaway, see what I mean? Um, the deadline is Monday, um, which is Actually, it will be over by the time you guys see this video. So hopefully you guys get in um, before it's too late. 
Thank you guys again so much for watching. Much love.